a couple of deer over there. I wonder if that one there goes. One doe and it looks like a buck and maybe a doe over there. We're on her sleeping on his gun. <laughs> Alright, so we just glassed up a big two by two. So we're gonna go see Juju Lonson. And uh, it looks like you might have a couple other bucks with her, but we're gonna go ahead and move. Thank you. 
deer trap and a cow patty. Perfectly preserved. Julian wanted to shoot a little raghorn. <laughs> Muzzle loader. He was shooting so almost straight up and it came back down by us. We got scared and left. Yep. So, first morning hunt. Saw a lot of deer. Saw some bucks. Nothing real huge though. But Juju's over here saying he's gonna shoot the first buck he sees and stuff. So he's already giving up. Yeah, Come he's on. giving up. Yeah, right. He's trying to shoot little spike if he saw it. He said so. Nah, I didn't <laughs> want to. I didn't sneak up on it on purpose. It was too small. I don't know. Um, no, but fun hunt though this morning. So now we're gonna go tour. Joel's dad has a museum, so we're gonna go tour that right now. It's a gun museum, and. uh should be awesome. I guess you got just a ton and a ton of guns in there. But there are not definitely lots and lots of deer up here, so no shortage of deer, that's for sure. We're definitely gonna be back in this afternoon, see if we can't put a bullet through one. Yeah, I'm holding the gun like this the whole time waiting. <laughs> what do you have Alright guys, successful hunt this morning because nobody got bit by a rattlesnake and nobody got hurt. <laughs> but uh we're taking a break. Uh, we're out here by Elko and Joel, you guys know, is the owner of One Raid Gear. He is taking us to his brother Farns' shop, which is in Elko. If you live out here, you probably know or have heard of it. It's Gun World, and it's an amazing store. He's, he's told us a lot about it. We're going to go in there and see what they have in there. Pretty much everything. So we're going to go over there, meet Farns, and, and look around. Then after we do that, we have another surprise. Joel's dad actually owns a museum with how many guns? Quite a few. <laughs> Quite a few guns from different wars and everything, which is pretty amazing. You guys know I was in the military, so I appreciate that stuff, museums and looking at old stuff. So we're gonna go visit. Once we do all that, get back in the hills, try to knock, knock a deer down for Juju, and uh, just have a good time while we're out here, meet people and this is a hunting trip slash, you know, get, get to meet everybody that's involved with the hunting community out here. And it's just a good time overall. You guys ready? Oh, Juju? Yeah. yeah, of course. All right. All right. Let's go talk to him. All right. So Joe's brother has a shop here in Elko now. So we're here in Elko. We're going to go ahead and check it out. He wants us to stop by and say hi. Gun World and Archery. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. Um, I guess they've just got absolutely everything in this store that we might need. We happen to uh, need some like game bags and stuff, so we're just gonna stop by and check it out. We are in Elko. Yeah, Elko. Gun World and Archery in Elko. Joel's brother actually owns this shop, so before we go out and try to punch Juju's tag, last minute essentials, just stuff we may have forgotten, like game bags and stuff, we can pick up here. So awesome shop i mean they got guns on the walls mounts everywhere i guess that they, nice they've right they've shot a lot of these animals themselves within their families this is a beautiful place thank you mm. wow that's cool it's an awesome night. so they've got absolutely everything in here you'll ever need to come out and hunt archery stuff coyote stuff decoy stuff shooting stuff food mres you know all kinds of stuff just everything's here awesome mounts i mean you can't beat it so these are all mounts that they that they've killed within the family except for one of them i guess i don't see which one he said exactly but all of these are mounts the family's taking out then come over here they even got an indoor range here. <laughs> How far is that? Probably 20? Maybe yeah, that's like 30. 30? 30. 30, 30 yards. That beats Las Vegas' indoor range is at 20. So that's awesome. Nice indoor range, all kinds of bows, cool mounts everywhere. Is it Impala? Looking at Juju. That's how Juju would look if he was an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a cool store? Yeah, this store is dope. I like it. Got everything. Farns. Farns said to pick a hat. Whichever one you want. Alright, so Joel's brother Farns gave me a Gunworld hat and gave all of us one actually. 
copy of that one. Rep the company. Awesome shop here. Just absolutely everything you'd ever need. And amazing mountains. <laughs> cool store. I really like it here. I'm definitely going to stop here every time I come to Elko. So once again, this shop right here, Gun World and Archery. Awesome shop here out in Elko. I've never been there. We've actually never been to Elko. Awesome shop though. Great prices on everything and they seriously had just about everything you would need in that store. If you, ha if you happen to forget anything on your hunts or need something on the way there, a new bow, broadheads, anything, they've got you. They got the hook up here. So awesome store. Welcome to the Williams Family Museum. So it's a private collection, right? Yeah. So Joel's dad's got a collection of rifles or just guns in general. I guess it should be called. And uh, he's made a museum out of it right here. Williams Family Museum. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. They've been trying to get us down here to look at it for a while. And uh, pretty excited to get the chance to look. What is this? Uh, bullets. Nice. All right, so this museum right here is absolutely insane. So what we're gonna end up doing with this is it's gonna be a video in itself because this is absolutely crazy. So it's gonna be its own video. You guys definitely gotta stay tuned for that one. <laughs>